this place will be closed That's right. before yeah. the summer is over. Mm -hmm. So all we need to do is teach our uh, community about what's going on in the real in the real world right. that they are pimping us. Yeah. My name is Langston Hood. Langston Hood. Yes. I'm out here in solidarity with uh, our brothers and sisters uh, because once upon a time in this community, you would see <laughs> Muhammad Ali walking down the street. You see Malcolm X walking down the street. This was walking down 47th Street, 43rd Street. This was all black owned and black operated. Okay. I'm from the old school and the school I come from everything in our community is black owned and operated. The gas stations, the corner stores, okay, the laundry mats, even the liquor stores. Now I don't condone drinking and none of that, but still no. It was all black owned and operated. Okay. Now what happened was uh, integration. Okay. Okay, immigration. You know, they brought all these people into our neighborhoods and our communities. They gave them loans to set up businesses. Okay, to where they could capitalize off our economic base. We're spending all our money in this community with people that fund their education for their children. They're not supporting anything in our neighborhoods for our children or our economic growth. I'm totally against it. What they did in North Carolina to their sister was totally uncalled for, totally unnecessary. You put your hands on any black woman, black child, you putting your hands on me. So I'm out here in solidarity to support our efforts to shut this down. Come to find out, this is the corporate headquarters. North Carolina, exactly. Uh, from what I heard, the owner of this store supported the uh, business manager at that store. I'm totally against that. When I heard about it, I had to come out and support our efforts to shut this business down. This store here. Has to be shut down nationwide. I'm in Chicago. I'm doing my part here. We need y'all to come out and stand up. We need y'all to come out and stand up. Black power. Our community. Race first. Chair of National Black Wall Street, Chicago. Okay, that's who that is. Okay. We've got officers here on 47th Street uh -huh. who come from a history. Uh huh of how black folk need to do for themselves with the businesses and dollars that they spend every day. Yeah. So we've already proven from this site right. that black dollars and black lives matter because black dollars is what keeps this place going. That's right. All right. But we got to educate ourselves on how black dollars got to still matter when it's owned and operated by black folks in our own community. That's true. And that's what it's all about. That's right. So we've already proven from this site, right. black dollars keep a place going. That's right. Because black dollars have kept this place sustained. God damn it. And other places like this, the majority of black community sustained. So ain't nothing wrong with now saying, let's sustain the same spending for our own people on and running. And we can do that by the large number right. of already existing black owned and operated beauty supply stores. Right. So all it is, we shut this one down and set some black folks up to take it over. That's, right. that's what it's all about. And that's, what black, and that's what Black Wall Street means. Shut it down. Shut and, 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 and I've been a part in my life of shutting down a whole lot of businesses and then have nothing to replace it. So for all the black vendors whose products still sell in these stores, they can still sell again yeah. under black-owned and operated yeah. business. And that's what it's all about on this store.
Detroit. Well, can I ask you 47th a Street. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm, what I'm hearing that I'm not, I don't know too much about the Asian business, but I'm hearing that they have like what you call a monopoly on this business. And they control the industry, so we, that's going to be another fight for it too. As well, well right? what we got to do is change the narrative. Okay. If it was really true that they control a monopoly, you would have all these existing black-owned and operated beauty supply stores that sell the same stuff they sell. So they ain't got that much of a monopoly. What we got to do is get those who have succeeded against those odds and change the narrative. Because it ain't true. Because if they control all of that, then you wouldn't have the large number of existing, current, black-owned and operated beauty supply stores. So we gotta change that narrative. So they, they ain't controlling that much. They they ain't stopped all those black owners and operated beauty supply stores. You know what I'm saying? Today on 87, 8704 South Loomis, they said they've been in the bed for 30 years. Which means again, yeah. change the narrative. Yeah, that's right. So changing the narrative means show our own people how to own and operate their own business that their own dollars are sustaining. And that's what it's all about. Somebody said today, though, that um, shopping on, on 87, they say shopping with the black store that costs a little bit more. Well, you pay a little more to get a little more. And we've always done a little more. That's the, that's the excuse, though. Well, I mean, they, they use to not Hey, no more excuses. No more excuses. That's how they push us out. Hey, no more excuses. And, and we've come too far and been through too much to have excuses. So ain't no excuse. And it ain't that much more. So it ain't that much. But it's an excuse that we got to change the narrative. And that's what... I'm just glad to come back here and show my support. Thank you. 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 Thank
I wouldn't compromise myself for this business. Exactly what's going on. He's standing up for he's standing up for he's standing up for them. He fighting me. He fighting me more than And then he's so confident he say my 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 well, don't don't gonna gonna shut down. Down. I told you better be looking for right, cause this shit gonna be shut down, bro. I offered him a job. He gonna I offered him a job. We can't. You ain't gonna be able to save him. Our only, our only job is to plant a seed. We came we back. We just our eighth day now, coming back and watering that seed. So Hold for on, the people, days, these the eight days. Yeah, it's been eight days. You feel me? And if we didn't came back and we didn't water that those seeds, so it's up to to the people. Now, if the people is drowning, as black people, we drowning. If we reaching our hand up to save you, and you don't and you don't grab my hand, I'm not gonna keep exhausting my energy exactly. with you. And I, as bad as that sounds, we not gonna all make it. We not all meant to make it. This is chess, not checkers. Some people are pawns. Yeah, them pawns so man. just because they look like us and yeah, we want to say them, some people it's just not going to happen with. So we got to be, we have to accept that as well. We doing our part. So for the people that's not, you know, receptive to the information that we give it, so be it. That's your loss. That's your life. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a sacrifice in, in all things. So everybody not going to make it, even the people that look like us. And that's sad, but that's life. You know what I'm saying? So let's not get wrapped up. We got real progress going on here. So it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? For the people that go inside that store, it's our job to educate them first. You know what I'm saying? Once we educate them, it's up to them what they going to do after that. They continue wanna, they want to continue to serve their slave master and continue to be a slave. So be it. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it is. That's the condition of America. That's the condition of America. And that's the condition of black people in America. It hasn't changed. You know what I'm saying? It hasn't changed. 400, 400 years later, we still in the same predicament. You know what I'm saying? Only difference is you got some young people that really understand what's going on. So we ain't like our ancestors. There's a lot of us who will be bought, but it's a lot of us who won't. So we still standing out here and we gonna put our foot on their neck. And that's what it's about. So if you want to continue to go in that store, you go do that. But what they don't know is they gonna be exiled from the black people and the Koreans ain't really accepting them. So you gonna, you don't got nothing. You gonna be out here starving. So that's what it is. You can't serve two masters and that's the day that it's coming down to. Period. So you either gonna be with us or you gonna be against us. It ain't no middle ground in this. So go into that store. But know that they ain't for you either. So it don't matter. You gonna starve to death. You, you picking, exactly. You're picking to starve. So continue to starve. I'm trying to feed you. You don't want to eat, okay? You know what I'm saying? But if they want to come back and eat, the plate is still there because they, they, they still are brothers and our sisters. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like I said, you can't force nobody to eat. I'm not forcing the tube down nobody. You no, know, there's plenty of people out here that want to be saved, that want this information that we drop. I'm here supporting my sisters and my brothers. Nicole Vaughn. I'm Nicole Vaughn. Inglewood resident. Inglewood. <laughs> so I, come on 40, I had to come down here on 47 to represent, but we got to stand in solidarity, you know, that's the, that's the way to make change, right? That's that's what it is. It's about that support one another. And we need to show unity. We don't have no unity in love, we won't get nowhere. And so I, I'm tired, personally, of people like them coming in our community. Um, you know, they don't they don't respect our dollars. So why do we why do we shop with them? You know, and so we need to own our own beauty shops and um, nail shops, even the nail shops, they need to be shut down, all of them, really. You know, so we have to stand together in this mission. That's right. And we got talent in our community. We do hair, we do nails, we do all that. Right, we don't, you know. And so we got to show love because we don't love each other. We got to get back to that loving one another, right? And showing, so the thing, like the things that I do is out of love. I'm not looking for somebody to give me something, it's about love, right? So, no, never. <laughs> Hey, I was I was once part of the problem. Now I'm trying to, you I'm, know, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm trying to be part of the solution. That's you know, people right. all part of before. Yeah, yeah. so we all got a story to tell, and so we need to we need to join in solidarity to make power, make changes, power moves. This day number eight, eight made new beginnings. So that's where we at. Day number, eight. we right. still here, people. Come on down. We here at seven o'clock till they close. Shut him, Shut, him Shut him down. down. Shut him down. Shut him down. This place will be closed That's right. before the summer is over. Mm -hmm. So all we need to do is teach our uh, community about what's going on in the real in the real world. Right. That they are pimping us. Uh -huh. They are buying these expensive cars, uh -huh. sending the money back to their hometown. 
for their kids' education. We need money for our future kids, you know. So why should we uh, let them have our last dollar, let them pimp us? You know, most of these stores are selling drugs, you know. It's a cover-up. Drug paraphernalia. Exactly. So people, wake up. Stay woke. Wake up. And, and, and know what this place is all about. So we got we got to send him packing, and trust me, we will send him packing. No apology. We do not want to talk to his lawyer because guess what? You should have thought about what you did to this African queen that was brutally beaten up by one of your employees or your son or it could have been your your uh, nephew or whomever along with his sister or wife because if I had have been there I would have been kicking some butts you know so no we are not getting paid the only person is paying us is God God put this mission on our hearts to take care of this church this uh, I'm sorry, not this church. Excuse me, God, to take care of this building. But I know that we really get less and less customers. Case closed. Formal beauty supply. Formal. That's right. Black is your name, man. What's his name? Carolyn J. Ruff. Black Lives Matter. Women of Faith. Carolyn J. You may. Ruff. R U F F. Black Lives Matter. Women of Faith. I got to reiterate that because that's who's organizing this, or that's who have organized this, along with other organizations. If you have questions that you would like to ask the streets, contact us at askthestreetsmedia at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.